Hello class, this is Andrew. I just wanted to walk you through what I had blocked out. Uh, that way we can discuss exactly what everyone is doing and if there's any changes everyone wants to make to their particular areas or we can facilitate a discussion about what exactly people were thinking about for their areas compared to what I blocked out. Um, so let's get take a look. Whoa. Oops. Alright, let's go here. Alright, so the player would start uh, inside the gate. Uh, this is the gate. And they just entrance way. That way, when they start out, they can see the jack in the box, which would be this area right here. They walk over to it, it pops up, ah! And then everything turns on, and as they look around some more, they see the ticket booths, fountain, another ticket booth, fountain's pointing over here. They walk past the eatery. So we got, you know, chicken on a stick, whatever we want to put over here, um, some chairs, tables. Walk this way, they can walk through the queue, or we can block it off, and they can just take this express line. Maybe we'll put a little sign here that says, express, uh, you gotta wait, or whatever we want to say over here. Um, they walk through, go over this way, they go around here. Uh, we'll put, like, I was thinking maybe a creepy kind of... Um, uh, park or playground or something like that, something that when monsters would play on. Um, and then this is the school, maybe a facade of some sort. Um, don't really need to build a fa facade all the way back since it's not an actual school, it's just a, a building that has been constructed to contain everything. And I'll go over this way, go in. This is the entrance way to the school. We'll just block off their path with school-related furniture, you know, desks, benches, etc. Um, you can put whatever you want in here. We'll light it differently. It's not going to be white. And they walk through, and this could be a office area, classroom, um, cafeteria, whatever we really want it to be. And they're just blocked off, and they have to walk around and try to get through. Go this way, can't go that way go through here, then we'll, you know, they come in here, and it's the hallway they were just in, and they, get, they want to get over here, but they can't, so they have to go through here again, and this could be uh, another office, uh, cafeteria, classroom, whatever you decide, and they go through here, and they can't, and they come through here, go up the stairs, go around here, and then this gives them a little sense of choice. You know, they can decide where they want to go. They can go this way. This could be a classroom, office, etc. Whatever you want it to be. Or they could have gone the other way. And this could be a dormitory, a place where they, you know, the students sleep and everything. Go through here. So they can block this area off. Actually, don't let them just walk through here. Um, or you could. I mean, however you decide. Go down. They come out. They pick up their little collectible that unlocks the next area. This door opens. They go through. Um, this is all going to be woods. So just woods. Make them woods. Um, this might be a good place to use the landscape editor. We'll just put everything on the ground here and we'll just dig holes as we need to. Come out. And we'll just decorate this with maybe benches for people to wait for guests or balloons, lights, etc. Uh, maybe put a sign over here somewhere that says Monster Story School for Ghouls. Um, no one under 18, whatever we want to say. Um, this is the front of the Devil's Hollow attraction. Um, this will be locked and they won't be able to get in here. Um, so they'll have to continue over this way. This is the witching tower. Uh, we'll put a sign over here. The witching tower. I mean, we can put it on the building itself, whatever we want to do. Um, this is the entrance. We'll delineate somehow the entrance and block this off so they can't go through here until they've done it. Um, same thing. They can either go this way or they can go through the queue. Um, now we'll just go through the queue because why not? Um, go through here. Go around. Get dizzy. Um, 
this little area, I was thinking, um, let me get like steampunkish. They can put, um, put items in here. Um, that's like a pipe coming out, which you'll understand more once I get inside. Uh, so go in here. This is like the back entrance to the place where all the mechanical stuff goes on. Come in here, go up, and this is my idea for the witch's pot. Down at the bottom is pretty much a witch's pot, and there will be like a gate, uh, like grating or gating here. Um, you can see through it, but they can't go through it. Um, and then at the end of this, um, this will be grated off, so they can't just cross this to get over. Um, so my idea is it's not only just a clock tower, but it's also a giant pot for the witches. So the gears turn the, uh, the clock tower's face, but they also stir the pot. So these will be gears spinning around that the player has to use to jump onto and jump across. And um, that is, this is the pot itself. Um, there's grating here. It goes down further, but um, this way uh, the player can't just fall in. They land on top of it, and um, they can run around the water. Um, and to get out, they can jump on the uh, pipes here, make them out of brass or something, and they can get back. Or you can get stuck in the middle like me. There we go. Weird. Um, I mean, that'll take a while to figure out to make do right, but there we go. And then the player just has to time their jumps and jump across. Um, then they can go up to the next floor. And on the next floor, you can see the gears. Uh, this is the gear for the clock above us is where all the mechanisms for the clock tower is. We can hear it, but um, we can't see it. And then these are just spinning around. Um, we'll put, like, gear sections on here so they have something to interlock into and they just spin around this and turn that as they reach it so that's sort of turning uh, differently so that's how time is deducted um, from the clock or added to the clock it's just based on how this turns around to it so we'll just have to time that properly and they just have to jump across here um, we can put more grading up here so they have to time their drops properly maybe we'll put grading uh, vertical so they have to jump over it or duck under it if we add in ducking. And they get over here and then this is to be the path into the clock tower. Um, they can't go in. We'll just put a door here um, that's locked. Instead there will be a elevator here and they can take the elevator down. Uh, for now we'll just wee, jump down. And then there's the pipes that were over here, and they just can come down out, and I don't know, maybe we'll have them spewing sludge out into the forest or something. We'll have the forest all green, and they just will go underneath the pipes. So there's more forest over here. They come out now that they've obtained the item they needed, and then they can go to the next area over here. And this is pretty much this is the exit. This is where they would come out if the attraction was actually working, but this is just a, a facade that's not actually going to be used at all. Uh, they come over here, and it's a big evil looking tree with a mouth gaping open to eat them. They go into the tree, and that's where the attraction starts. So just forest around it, big tree, roots, something like that. And then once I build that attraction, I'll walk you guys through that, so you have an idea of what I was thinking. Um, but other than that, um, let me know what you think in the discussion posts. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know what I was thinking so that we have some sort of idea. And if you have um, some ideas about what you wanted to do in your area, uh, just let everyone know so um, we can do that. I mean, if you've already built a bunch of stuff and it doesn't really go along with what I was doing, you have free reign to change your area based on what you've built. So feel free um, to do so. Just remember to block it out so everyone has an idea in case you know you get sick and someone else has to pick up your slack or something like that. Um, so yeah, so let me know and, uh, we'll hopefully get this done. Thanks.